Dominic. Mike. I'd like you to meet Dominic Barone, the man responsible for the design and production of this engine. This is my new associate, Mike Ross. He's just a kid. You're trying to steal his soul before he hits puberty. Okay, obviously. You're I'm still upset about basketball. our labor negotiations. My, my workers took a big hit. And McKernan took a bigger one, both of which poised the company to be strong for years. I was always straight with you about that. Sophisticated words for a guy who screwed us. Look, I'm sorry you feel that way, but you have to admit, I did have the courtesy to do it from the front. Wow. Yeah, he really appreciates what you've done for the company. Robert Stenslin, I'd like you to meet your new associate, Mike Ross. We're not paying him what we pay you. Nor should you, but I assure you he's highly effective. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I had him read your corporate lease last week. Ask him anything. That's a 300-page document. OK, what are the terms? OK. I have no idea what you're talking about. And let's see, was the parent company Glendon Enterprises? 35,000 square feet at 19 West 57th, $80 a foot, expires in six months with an option to extend, exercisable in 30 days. Who signed the lease? You did. What's my middle name? The letter L. What happens in the event the company no longer exists? That wasn't in the lease. How can you be sure? Because the lease I read wasn't 300 pages. It was 364. And I could tell you what's on any one of those pages, but I can't tell you that. That's how I can be sure. Excellent. You can get him started on the new deal right away. New deal? Yeah. I have found a buyer willing to spend $200 million for the ground underneath the flagship factory. Where are you moving manufacturing? Well, that's the beauty of it. The real asset of McKernan Motors is the name. We move overseas, we save ourselves a bundle. A front payout while retaining the name and maintaining cash flow over time. That's genius. Exactly. Yeah, we'll take care of everything. Okay. Right. Thanks. Really? Jesus, I knew he was cheap. I didn't realize he was an idiot. What are you talking about? The asset's not the name, it's the quality. He moves overseas, he's gonna kill the goose that laid the goddamn golden engine. Wait a minute, I thought you didn't get emotionally attached to the client. I'm emotionally attached to me. Look, I made a bet that this company would grow and my billables would grow with it. We're holding a pair of aces and this asshole's trying to fold. So, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything. You're gonna go through those bylaws and you're gonna find me a way to get rid of Robert Stensley. No, 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 I have to go see my grandmother. Uh-uh. Is she dying? No. Cancel on her. Now, what'd you find me on McKernan Motors? The board can't vote for at least 24 hours after the CEO presents a deal involving the sale of company land. But Stenslin already presented it to the board. Right, but Stenslin isn't CEO. I wrote those bylaws myself, he's CEO. Hmm. Page 238, clause 137 states, if the CEO dies, an interim CEO will be appointed until the board convenes an election vote, which can't be called till the next fiscal quarter, in this case, next Thursday. So they can't vote him in until Thursday? Thursday. Okay. Well, prepare the due diligence for me to take to Stenslin, but I don't want anything ready to sign. Where are you going? Out. I have until Thursday to find a new CEO. Huh. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, it was just six hours, 1,500 pages, and I uh, found your mistake. Yeah, you found the one mistake I made while drafting those bylaws a dozen years ago when I was two years younger than you. A mistake, by the way, that's gonna help me get rid of Stenslin. Mistake. I spent a day with a top headhunter I know who couldn't produce one legitimate CEO candidate by Thursday. What about that Dominic Barone guy who runs production? He said he was responsible for the engines and clearly cares about the workers. Oh, he's not the guy. Uh, you're scared you can't convince him because he hates you. I get it. Nice try. Harvey. Glad you could make it. We were about to sign the papers. I got word back at the office. I just came to see how Lewis was getting around the bylaws. I don't know. Uh, I'm at some of a loss. Robert, I'm sorry. This is what was holding up your due diligence. Technically, you're still interim CEO until the board votes you in on Thursday. If protocol isn't followed, it leaves you with huge litigation exposure. That's right. Well, I imagine we should uh, hold off then. Please don't blame Lewis, it's my fault. We usually have senior partners oversee transactions like this because junior partners, they tend to miss things. <laughs> See you Thursday? One second. Uh, just so you know, you were a junior partner until recently. There's a reason I'm not anymore. I need you to prepare the draft CEO candidate speech for Thursday. Well, I thought you were supposed to back off. Yeah, I'm supposed to do a lot of things. I'll call you with the plan on my way back. From where? From convincing the man who hates me to do what I say. Oh, right, you mean the guy I suggested you go to in the first place? 
Do you remember that whole getting it thing I was talking to you about? Well, I can't even gloat. Gloating's fine, you just have to not suck at it. Okay. Thank you. So much. It hurt. Robert? Harvey. You know, I have to admit, I almost didn't see it coming. Excuse me? It's the delay in the due diligence that just didn't smell right. So the only thing it could be was that you were going after my CEO appointment. So since I'm still within my rights to move a board meeting, I did. I was voted in today at noon. And tomorrow the board will ratify the sale of the factory. And now I'm firing your firm. And I'm firing you. Try the croissant, gentlemen. Marmalade's fantastic. Follow me. I need you to go talk to Dominic. What? Why? Stenzlin's already CEO. That won't matter if we just buy the damn company. What? Why are you still working? One of my creations. Not leaving it unfinished. What the hell do you want? I'd be happy to tell you if you put that wrench down. Yeah, you're quick with the jokes. I'm the guy who just got fired. <sighs> you're right. I'm sorry. What would you say if I told you we could get your job back and stick it to Stenzel? I'm done with Harvey and his plans, yeah? You were there. We got fired, too. You and Harvey still have jobs? He doesn't care about anybody but himself, including you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But he did stick his neck out to keep your company here. And he does have an idea that requires your help. So you can stay here and call him an asshole, or you can come with me and we can help him. You know, it goes from zero to 60 in the blink of an eye. Did you bring me down here to tell me I can drive this? Better. For $250 million, you can own it. McKernan Motors is for sale? If we act fast. I'll need to see the financials. You put together a letter of intent, they'll get you the financials. You know, their real asset is the engine quality. I don't want to just buy the name. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Lawrence, I'd like you to meet the man responsible for every McKernan Motors engine ever built. Wow, Dominic Barone. Very nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I'd like to show you something if you have a minute. Absolutely. So, how do we get an offer to the board before they vote to ratify the deal tomorrow? You're going to go through those bylaws and you're going to figure something out. I don't have to look through them to figure it out, because I just did. Well, what took you so long? You trying to look like me? Each of you have had 24 hours to review the documents in front of you. So at this time, no, Excuse I'm... me, excuse me. What is he doing here? I'm sorry, I'm going to take care of this. No, 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 I will. You gentlemen have no right to attend this meeting. Actually, we do. The bylaws states that any original employee has the right to petition the board any time they meet. Dominic Barone has assigned that right to me. He was fired. He no longer has that right. Per section 17-5.C, Dominic wasn't given three days notice, so technically he wasn't fired. Which is why I do have the right to urge the board to accept the offer for the purchase of McKernan Motors. Now, I can tell you that this offer will keep manufacturing here and save jobs while retaining the flagship engine that put this company on the map, but I don't have to because it happens to be for way more goddamn money than the one in front of you right now. Hey, Bob, how are you? It's funny how you held out on me on that proper notice exception. I didn't hold out. I made that up on the spot. Really? On the spot? Do you remember that getting it stuff? I know, right? I'm getting it. Well, I was going to say that, but now you ruined it. That's one thing you definitely get. How to ruin it. How to ruin it? I okay. heard that 